Who, who broke all these crayons? With you, maybe. <laughs> all right. So we have a lot of crayons that are broken up, and we're going to make them into donuts in different color coated combinations. So, like all the like bluish ones, the yellowish, orangish ones, the greenish ones, kind of like that. But first, you have to take the wrapper off, Fufi. Yeah. And then we're going to bake them on 250 for about 15 minutes and then let them cool off. This is what they look like all done. I put them on a baking tray and I'm going to use my Ninja Foodi to warm it up. Let's see. Yeah, so while we wait for the donut ones, we're going to also use this ice cream one. Here we go, because we still have more crayons. We've been working on the ice cream one and it's looking good. Here we go. The ice cream one is done and we still have more, so we're going to fill the last mold, the popsicle mold, with the last couple of crayons that we have. So we're just checking to make sure there are no other broken ones, and there definitely are a couple other broken ones because we have a couple slots open here. So once we check these yep, out, there, are. there is. All right, pull it out. Mommy. Perfect. All right, let's do it. In the meantime, the donut ones are done. Let's take them out. Oh my God, they're like literally. Look at that. Oh, they look so beautiful. Oh, they kind of match my Pioneer Woman um, tea kettle. Okay, so while these beautiful colored donuts cool off, come see, baby, we're going to finish the other ones we're working on. Mickey has joined the peeling crew, peeling the last couple. Looking good. Looking good, guys, looking good. Match the color. What color are you using? Oh, orange. Okay, you can you have a couple options. I'm gonna let you pick where you think it goes best, okay? okay. Good job. You're gonna have to crack it in half though. Okay. Now we need to eat. <laughs> Fufu's doing the last one. It's greenish. It's going in and we're good to go. Alright, let's check on the donut one. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, they're definitely setting. Okay, so I have another tray. Let's get it out. And let's get those oh, two in there. Sure, baby. These are going in. Same thing, 250 ah. for about 15 minutes. It's really cool to watch these melting down in there. We have about 10 minutes left to go. And in the meantime, these are still cooling. Three more minutes, but these are nice and hard. So let's get these out of the molds. Let me see. Yeah, we should be able to pop these guys right out. Here we go. Yep. Come over here. Are you going to help me? Oh, I guess we could sit over here on the table so you guys can help. Alrighty. Look, it's so easy. Mickey did it. <gasps> wow. I did it too. Fufu did it too. <gasps> it worked again. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, this one cracked a little bit. Okay, be gentle with them, I guess. Maybe this one, um, no, I don't know. This Ooh. Fine. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. We gotta let them cool up a tiny bit more. <laughs> we must have taken them out a little bit too soon because two of them cracked. No. Okay, so either they're too, the ones that cracked might have been too thin or maybe they're still just a little warm. But these look so cool. There's still a bunch of them in there, so we're just cooling them a little bit more. But I think they'll be fine because these do feel a little bit warm when I'm holding them. Look at how cool this is. Look at this one. It looks like a volcano inside, Mickey said. Mickey got another one out. Here's another quick tip. When you're popping them out, pop them all the way up and try not to grab the set, the sides. See, that's what's cracking. When the sides are raised up like that, which is just because of the shape, that's the only part that's cracking off right there. So just raise them up from the middle and then, you know, pull them up from the middle and they won't crack. It looks like you have a donut sandwich. <laughs> oh my God, they're so beautiful. I love them. Okay, now that we figure out how to get them out, we can get the rest out. All right, this is super cool. So the only one that really cracked in half was the greenish one. But all the rest of them are good to go. All right, and I just heard the others ding, so I'm gonna go get them out, okay? We can easily fix this too. We can just warm it up if we want to and it'll just melt back together, right? 
Yeah, yeah, put it in here, and that's what we'll do, and we'll see if we can show people how to fix the ones that crack. Oh my God, we're so excited. These look super cool. <gasps> Fufu, Mickey, you gotta check these out. Come see how cool these are. Okay, coming. Come see. Don't put your finger in these. They're still really hot. No. I'm not. He put his finger in the other donut ones when they had cooled off a little, and he had a nice little wax fingertip. But these just came out, so they're super hot, Mickey. <laughs> All right, we're going to wait 10 minutes like we did with the other ones, and then we'll pop these bad boys out. These guys are already having fun. Look, Mickey put his on, what is that, a pencil, a colored uh -huh. pencil. Go show brothers. Hey, guys, look. And Fufu's doing the same now. Is it fun? Yeah. Should we try to color with it? Yeah. Let me get a paper. Okay. All right, while those cool down, we have some paper, and we're going to use our donut crayons. All right, so a couple of them broke because Fufu was being playful, right? I mean, yeah, that's what I kids do. But the cool thing is they're Mommy, still bigger. I make a Good job. They're still pepper. bigger than the other ones. So. Okay, so yellow. All right. You're going to yeah. trace Make it? A Let's color with them. This is cool. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at that. It's got a couple different shades of green in it. Let's try the purplish one. Same thing. It looks like a sandwich, like a cookie sandwich. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. I feel like I should make like a flower. I'm making a maze. That's a good idea. Look at this, Mickey. Look at the inside of these. Look at how like layered they are. Look, foof. Everybody's having fun and got quiet all of a sudden. That's how you know you had a successful craft when everybody gets quiet all of a sudden. Was that cool coloring with a donut? Must be. Again, quietness usually means that they're having fun. I mean, I'm having fun too, I'm not going to lie. This is a very relaxing craft. It requires very little preparation. I mean, if you wanted to peel the crayons ahead of time, you could. I did it, but you could. And I read online um, that you could one. soak the crayons to make the paper come off faster if you wanted to. I didn't I do that why. either. And they helped me peel them. So that was part of the fun, too. We did it together. I don't um, know. I will make more. Yep. And I'm going to go check on the ones that are popsicles and ice cream. Boop, 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 boop. <gasps> Still looking like they need more time. All right. I think we have about... You know, five, seven it's more hot. minutes. It's not hot. What? Yeah, but it's still wet. Yeah, it's still wet. <laughs> Let's wait. So I just had a thought that I thought I would share with you guys. If you wanted to make these thicker so that the kids could put more pressure on them, what you could do is start mac uh, melting a first batch oh like this God. and then have the extra crayons on the side and add them to the melted batch about halfway through. And this way, you'll get more crayon in there. Because when the crayons aren't melted, you can only fill them up a certain amount, right? Because otherwise, they'll melt everywhere. So do a half melt, add more crayons in, and then melt again. Ooh, that's so pretty. So this way, your crayons, once they're done, they'll be a little bit thicker. They'll be like double the size, right? I mean, these are still really cool. But if you're worried about your little kids breaking these and you want them to stay thicker longer, just do a double melt. Melt halfway, and then add more crayon, and melt again. Ooh, well we might try that next time. Look at this one, it's one of my favorites. It's like marbled. Love it. You having fun? No, Jesus, I know. Uh, will be half to find my hook hand. Noah joined in on the phone and he's <laughs> coloring with the donut crayon. Hello, thank you. Fufu is literally going to town. She's drawing all kinds of things. Hulk lady. We're having so much fun and we have an idea. You can add glitter in these and they'll be glitterly, glitter, glitter, glittery. <laughs> glittery fun for everyone. <laughs> 
The last time I made these, we used a metal pan and oh my gosh, the smell was horrendous. So using the silicone trays makes such a difference. It smells like nothing. I don't smell it at all. It doesn't even smell like crayon. So, and these are two different types of pans. This, the donut one is much more um, like flexible and these are a little bit harder, but they're still both all silicon or silicone, however you want to say it, but they don't smell at all. There's no smell from this, no toxic smell. Now that these are almost done, we move them to the cool counter so they could really solidify and get hard and so that they don't crack around the edges like um, the first two donut ones did. So they're still cooling and everybody wants to touch them because it's so this cool. This gold. I'm going to take the gold one. I know. I'm in love with this one. Oh my God. It's like shimmery and it almost looks like it has gold flakes in it. I'm going to take the one that looks like venom. I'm gonna take these ones that the look black like ones. Venom. Yeah. I'm gonna look at Mickey's. This is really good lighting. They're here. pretty hard, but I don't think they're hard enough. And he was just telling me, like, oh yeah, cup they're definitely still cup. soft. Yeah, you can feel that they're still warm on the bottom. So and if you switch. press down a tiny bit, you feel it. Like You've left your fingerprint in there for life. Yeah. <laughs> I popped the first two out. The white one looks insane. They're still it warm. It looks like Oreo. I love it. It looks like an Oreo. It does. It kind of does. That one's a little thicker because we really filled it up. Kind of what the... Yep, push it up from the middle. Up, up, up. And then when it comes out, gently. There you go. Look at this one. It's weird because it almost looks like there's a residue in there, but... I don't know what from. Let me see the front of it. Easy. They didn't even need help. Yeah, they need to cool off a little more. Look, it's getting on our fingers because they're still pretty warm. But look at how cool they look. Super cool. Let them cool off and we'll come back. All right, so this is what it looks like, the finished product. There are all the gorgeous ice creams, the donuts, which are literally my favorite. I love the donut ones. And here are the popsicles. Look at these dark colors. Look at that. They look really good. They came out great. I highly recommend the donut ones. I think they're my favorite. Just looking at the colors. I highly recommend this one looking like a cloud. It looks like a cloud. I agree. But all of them are fun. What an easy craft. Fun craft. Let us know what you think. And let us know if you make them. See you next time. Have a good day. Have a good day.